You're listening to The Startup with Monique LeRae, only on L.A. Talk Radio. This is The Startup with Monique LeRae. I'm Monique LeRae. I'm coming to you live from uh, the Thai airport here in um, Udon Thani. Um, a little suburb outside of Bangkok, and I'm headed back to the States later today. Um, if you guys have been watching my show for the past year or so, you know that I've been traveling um, all of America and the world, um, documenting the pandemic from an entrepreneur's perspective and from survivor's perspective. So if you haven't had the pleasure of seeing our American award-winning trailer, please treat yourself on YouTube. And it's four words. It's The Pandemic Project Documentary. So um, we're almost at a wrap. This is the 15th country we've done this year. I'm really proud that we set that goal and we made it happen. And it was not easy. Um, but still, and, and through that, we are interviewing entrepreneurs from all over the world. And today we have two amazing entrepreneurs. One actually did my first show. She's a veteran, Lainey Strauss. Lainey, how you doing? <laughs> Great. Congratulations Great. on the and, documentary. I can't wait to see thank it. Thank you, Lainey. Thank you so much. And that coming from you, that's huge. You know, you're you're we'll get more into your resume in a moment. Um, <laughs> but we have we have uh, Randy Wyatt, CEO of SkinView. Randy, welcome to the startup. How are you? I am great, Monique. Thanks so much. It's been it's been a pleasure getting to know you, seeing you back at our charity golf event in Dallas. And and now here we are on your show. We're happy to be here and looking forward to uh, getting people a little educated on skin cancer. I love it. I love it. And, you know, it's really important to be aware of other things. Yes, there's a pandemic going on and we're hopefully putting that behind us very soon. But, you know, the largest organ in your body really is your skin. And we overlook that so much. So Randy's here with Lainey. Um, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about SkinView and how you came together and formed this beautiful charity? Well, just, you know, in terms of, of SkinView, um, I'm very happy to be working with Randy and the co-founder, Dan Meacham. Um, they have a, a big history and a lot of relationships in the golf world uh, with the PGA and the LPGA. Um, we're also going to be working with other athletic groups like the NFL and, and Major League Baseball. Um, all of these things have one thing in common. They play outside and they practice all day long in the sun. Um, which highly increases their risk of skin cancer. Uh, but everybody has skin. It doesn't matter what race, nationality, or color you are. Everybody has skin and everybody can get skin cancer. There's a misnomer about that. A lot of people think if you have darker skin that you are you will not get skin cancer. Um, darker skins are less likely to get skin cancer, but if they do get it, they actually have a higher mortality rate and it's less likely to catch it. So our mission uh, that we're working on is to raise awareness with everyone about skin cancer, regardless of age. Uh, you can get it in your 20s. You can get it in your 70s. Uh, one in five Americans will get it by the age of 70. And if you get more than five sunburns uh, in your lifetime, you're, you double your risk to get melanoma. Um, and if you use tanning beds, two visits can raise your melanoma risk 75%. Um, and from the, from the vein side, you know, everybody wants to look good. It also makes you age much faster. So, uh, you know, if you're, if you're just concerned about looking good, taking care of your skin, wearing uh, skin, a uh, sunscreen and protection every single day, not just when you're at the beach every day, uh, wearing hats, finding shade, et cetera, the way to really protect yourself. Um, Randy is uh, working on a amazing app to be able to check your skin at home, uh, which is really exciting. And he can tell you all about that. Yeah. So there are, there's so much going on in the cancer world with, with organizations, nonprofit organizations, uh, you know, different people and organizations raising money for skin cancer awareness, cancer awareness, research, everything. But, um, when Dan and I got into this, I, I've actually been in healthcare for over 40 years. So I you know, know the medical system really, really well, had no idea. And, and having this head, <laughs> I, am, I am at risk for, for skin cancer, especially growing up in Southern California, spending a lot of time in the sun and not doing all the right things. We want to reach people to teach them just not just about the dangers and risks of skin cancer, but how they can take a part in managing their own skin wellness. 
So we decided to partner with a award-winning, seriously, uh, they've won many, award, many awards for their technology. It's a company called Meta Optima, and they're more on the professional side of obtaining images to track skin cancer, the growth of melanoma, basal cell, squamous cell. And we want to be able to teach somebody about the importance of early detection. If you can catch it early, it can be up to 99% curable. Skin is the largest organ in the human body. It's the only cancer that can be, be seen without some surgical procedure, right? So, you know, managing skin cancer, what makes the difference is doing it early. And with our SkinView Tracker app that's in development, powered by this world renowned company that is already involved in imaging. They're building us a, it's a mobile app that anybody, we're going to try to put it into everybody's hands here in the United States. And we're going to branch out from there. So maybe you can do another world tour, Monique, right? And get, get the word out. <laughs> Absolutely. People. This is exciting. Yeah. Go ahead. So the, real, real quick, because I can talk a long time yeah. about this. There's two parts to this app. There's okay. one part that teaches about education. You know, there's articles on the tanning beds and skin cancer, and they can get as deep as they want, teaching people the A, B, C, D, E's of skin cancer. But then there's another half of the app, which will allow people to take pictures of their own skin and set up a virtual console with a trained dermatologist where they can see these images and say, you need to get that taken care of. You need to get this looked at. It really enhances because again, if it's caught early, it can be prevented. That's wonderful. And I think that's the difference. You're putting the uh, power in people's hands and they don't have to get off their couch and, 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 and seek that it's right here. Like anything else you can get, a, you can order a man and, and a meal and now screen for skin cancer on your phone. So that's <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the only, the only good thing about skin cancer is that it's a very slow growing cancer. The most significant thing that people don't realize. And I mean, there's lots of things that people don't realize 70% of the people in the U S don't go see a dermatologist for, for preventative care. So we're going after that. There's, you know, the 30% that do, here in the U.S., they're not always getting the best practices because there's not a lot of dermatologists that are using imaging to track skin change. And that's the significant thing about skin cancer is change. I'm going to go through it real quick, and then people can look up the A, B, C, D, E's of skin cancer. A is for asymmetry, B is for borders, C is for color, D is for diameter, and E is for the evolution. And that is the change. If you have a spot, if you have a mole that you've had all your life, probably nothing to worry about. But when it starts changing in size and shape and color, that's when you need to pay attention. Very good. Very good. So tell us more, Lainey, um, about your background and how you fell into SkinView with Randy and, and how people can connect with you guys. Well, uh, you know, Randy and I came across each other. Um, I connected with Dan. I am just passionate about working on cancer uh, as a whole. My, uh, I have unfortunately several people in my family and my life, best friends who've uh, had cancer. My father passed from skin can uh, from colon cancer actually, but he also had skin cancer. Um, so it's just something that I personally am passionate about. And unfortunately, most people have stories of somebody in their life that's close to them with some type of cancer. Um, the good thing about skin cancer, as Randy said, is it, it is the most curable and the most preventable. So it's something that can be changed and helped with lifestyle choices. So it's something that we can give people information on. Um, most people don't do all the things that they're able to do because they just don't know better. They don't think about it. They're like, oh, I'm only walking in my car. I'm driving in my car. They don't realize how much sun you get on a daily basis and how much you can change with your skin and your health by wearing sunscreen every day. Um, so for me, it's, it's, it's nice to empower people with information. Uh, sometimes I just, you know, see people going, Hey, where should I go to, for a tanning bed? And I actually will tell them like, just, you know, look, obviously everybody has to make their choices, but I want them to be making informed choices. So if, if you want, you know, if you want to protect yourself, tanning bed is not the best choice. There's a lot of spray tans and things. If that's something that you want, you know, there's alternatives that are healthier. So uh, my whole goal with this is really just to educate people. Uh, we, we talk to youth uh, because a lot of the damage is done before the age of 18. When kids are playing outside, they don't even think about it. They get a bad sunburn. They're, you know, especially in California, everybody's outside. 
Um, so we just really want to educate everybody at every age what they can do. There's always something, uh, whether it's protection, preventive, or or proactively checking your skin. Yeah, one of the things in addition so to what Lanny just said is one okay. of the top one of the top three cities in the United States for incidence of melanoma is Portland, Oregon. Not a lot of sun there. The sun gets through the top two rays. UVA and UVB are rays that cause major contributors to skin cancer, they get through the clouds. In fact, you know, we all know that you can spend a cloudy day on the beach and get really, really burned. So yeah, it's, it's and, and you make a great, you make a, you make a great, sorry, lady, you make a great point because yeah. I have friends that live up there and we don't think about that. So yeah. I'm glad you guys brought that up. Go ahead, lady. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, no, it, it was just addressing that as well. Like people think it's only when they're at the beach, you know, even if you're skiing, you can get sunburn. If you're on a boat, if you're at the reflection off the water, even if you have an umbrella over you, if there's reflection off sand, um, wow. you know, it, it's everywhere. And it's like, we don't want people to be scared of the sun, but we do want you to know how to protect yourself. And a, a, a cute hat, you know, can do wonders, the wide brim hat, um, so that you're getting full protection, wearing sunscreen, wearing sleeves, you know, being in the shade, not being in the sun at the height of it. You know, all those are things you can do to protect yourself um, and, and to reapply your sunscreen, which most people don't think about and don't do. They throw it on in the morning or something and they don't really reapply. But luckily now there's so many products. There's powder you can even put over your makeup that has uh, SPF in it. Um, there's sprays and things that can go over makeup. So if you're wearing it, a lot of people go, oh, I don't want to mess up my makeup. And and a lot of guys, you know, they don't think about it. They're doing athletics outside and they're sweating and they don't think about reapplication. Yeah. So, um, you know, there's so many products now that we can, that are available that are, you know, don't clog your skin and work for every skin type. You just find the one you like. And as long as you like it, you'll wear it. And that's, that's all that matters. Yeah, you know, the other thing is that uh, people don't realize right. is that it doesn't have to be where the sun shines without getting any pro inappropriate. This is a broadcast, but skin cancer <laughs> happens where the sun has never shown before. Um, I, I talk okay. to people all the time. Um, you know, a lot of things that people don't realize is, you know, it, it can happen on the bottom of your feet. It can happen in the nail beds. It can happen in wow. the hairline. And, you know, when you go to see a dermatologist, make sure that they're doing all of those things so that they know about your skin, every part of your skin. So it's, you know, just, it, it, it takes, it yeah. takes people being proactive about their own health, right? And that goes yeah. to any health concern. You have to be proactive rather than reactive. Bob Marley had and, melanoma, you know, and, he died from melanoma yeah. and it was on his foot. Misdiagnosed. Wow, you guys. Misdiagnosed. So you guys are giving us really great information. And this is the part of the show. And we'll continue this chat where you plug. Where can people find Skin View? Where can they get more information? Where can they find and track your app's progress? Uh, give us all your socials and, and website location. So our website location is pretty simple. Skin View, S-K-N-V-U-E dot org. That's where you can find all the information, all the, all the articles, updates on our, on our Skin View Tracker app, um, information about different people involved, different organizations. We're partnered with, as Lainey said, the LPGA, um, the PGA. We're now partnered with the Payne Stewart Kids Golf Foundation. Because if we can teach kids about how to take care of their skin, they won't make the same mistakes that we made when we were young, right? That's right, that's right. Um, we, are on, we are on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, um, we're on them all. And thanks again, Monique, for, you know, for what you've done to help. You're welcome. And I'm glad you're, you're, you're kind of plugging into our network. And I think um, recently, which Matt Sarafa was introduced to you guys, and he loved the concept. So Matt Sarafa, you guys follow him. He's a celebrity fashion designer. He was seen on Bravo Project Run uh, Runway, and he was the uh, youngest winner. So he's going to influence, I think, a great uh, generation, a, a block of our a viewership and, and, and your crowd as well. Lainey, um, talk to us more about what you guys have coming up. You know, anything, any, any new events or anything we can track? Yeah, we um, definitely follow us on on, on the on Instagram and and uh, Facebook and and uh, Twitter and everything else. It's all S K N V U E. So just make sure because Skin View is it's a little unique spelling. Um, 
You can also track me in all good things worldwide on Instagram, and I'll be posting all our events over there too um, that we have coming up. We have one in March. Um, we have uh, one in May, right, Randy? There's one in yeah. May. We are actually, news, news break here, we are launching, officially launching our Skin View Tracker app at a tournament that will wow. be getting, getting more information in Florida. This will be at the uh, wow. at a very prestigious country club right near Palm Beach, Florida in May, which happens to be Skin Cancer Awareness Month. So look for the updates. Congratulations. You know, yeah, we'll be putting out the updates on all of the social media as well as our website. Congratulations, you guys. This is going to go really far and wide. I had the pleasure of seeing Randy speak in person on skin cancer, and he just takes the room. He's eloquent. He lands the plane. He lands the, the points. And you, you kind of leave learning something new every time. And I'm kind of impassioned about it. I can feel your passion about it. So I want to thank you guys for making this a priority. And like you said, Lainey, um, we all know someone that's been affected by cancer, your father and friends and my grandpa, you know, and it seems like it comes on and it just goes fast. And in and, and a lot of cases anyway. So this yeah. seems like something that does not have to be that way. Um, so what's the takeaway here? What do you what, what else do you want people to remember about skin cancer, skin view and your organization? Well, from my perspective, um, you know, one thing with COVID that people don't speak speak about enough is that uh, diagnoses are, are low for cancer right now because people were not getting their early detection. And because of COVID, no, people were not getting their mammograms, they were not getting their skins checked, they were not getting the early detection. Um, so people are finding out they have cancer later. Um, which is which it really makes it harder to treat and and less survivable. So from from my perspective, I just really want to ask people to get out there, get yourself checked, get your get your your general practitioner uh, appointments in addition to you know your vaccinations and things like that. But really, if you have anything that's questionable, please have a professional look at it, whether it's your oncologist, whether it's a dermatologist, or at least your general practitioner to at least look at it and let you know if there's a, a potential problem that they can go look at a specialist because too many of us um, tend to wait too long and don't, you know, kind of think it's not that big a deal and put it off. Um, and as Randy said, it's the changes, the growth, and sometimes we don't notice things because it could be on your back and it could be somewhere where you don't see it easily. Um, I knew someone who found out stage four because it was on his back um, and somebody saw it when he was at the beach with his shirt off. But how many of us check our backs? How many of us check, you know, bottoms of our feet or things like that? Sometimes if it's not hurting you, you don't see it. Um, so, so that would be my request to everyone is please be thorough and checking yourself and knowing your body. And, and so you can identify when something changes. Very yeah, good. My, my encouragement to everybody out there and, and anybody who's, who, who will listen and, and Lainey and I talk to people every week is that you not only get your skin checked by a professional, but you make sure that it's the right professional. And, and I'm, not, uh, I'm not disparaging dermatology at all, but a dermatologist that doesn't take pictures, that really doesn't look in the hairlines, that doesn't look at you know, the nail beds and the feet and everything, that might not be the person you want to go to. But don't be frustrated. There's, it's hard to get in to see a dermatologist, and that's why we're putting out the app so people can be you know, taking care of their own skin wellness. Obviously, you know, you want to find the right doctor in with anything you're dealing with. The other thing is I would encourage people to go to our website and learn about or, you know, go to the Internet. The ABCDEs, it can save your life. Yes. And may I, may I ask, because I started to get a couple of little white spots. Randy, I had you look at my mole in Texas yep. and you like, oh, that's nothing. You know, I was like freaked out, but I've got a couple little white spots. And what are some signs and things that like, I know you said the ABCDEs, um, and why is it so difficult to get a, get in to see a dermatologist? So those are two questions for you. <laughs> okay. So the first question is, I will say about your mole, I, 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 I did mention one other thing. I said, it doesn't look, you know, but I also said, I'm not a doctor, so get it checked. And, you know, 25% of Melano if melanomas happen outside of a mole. So it can be, it can look like a little white pimple. Um, there's a, a story online. If you go to melanoma um, tennis star, there's a young woman who had a little white pimple 
It was misdiagnosed. She had it cut out. It was melanoma. It just looked like a little white pimple on right underneath her eye. So it can, it, it can come in different shapes and sizes, get educated on there. And then the, you know, the, the, the second thing, what was your second question again? Yeah, no, the second question was like, what, um, why is it so hard to see a dermatologist? Oh. Why does it make it difficult? Well, I mean, for, for in other in other parts of the country, I mean, California, we have a lot of dermatologists, but we spoke to a woman oh, yeah. in Ohio um, and she wasn't in a major city and she was like hundreds of miles away from the nearest dermatologist. Um, and they're trying to recruit dermatologists to other parts of the country in the Midwest. Like we have a lot of them in Cal Southern California, um, but you know, if you're if you live in some other place, they may not even have one within 100 miles of you. Um, she had to make an appointment six months later, and then they ended up canceling it on her. So um, we are trying to with our skin app is to be able to reach everyone uh, for free. That's the goal. So, you know, if somebody does want to donate to it, you can do that on skinview.org. Um, we are working to be able to give everyone the app for free so that they can check it at home and get initial care, you know, initial di uh, initial care so that then they can know, oh, I really need to get in to see a professional. Um, so they can actually have it tracked, be able to talk to a doctor. Um, and then if they do have something that's questionable to make a point to go see someone as soon as possible. Um, right. and, and that's something that we can offer that most people can't offer. Um, we can, you know, th that's the other thing is, is right. work. We are, we are working on a, with a group of physicians um, that we're partnering with in our part of our partnership with Meta Optima is getting physicians on board to do these virtual consults. You know, that's the thing that we've learned about during the pandemic, right? <laughs> Who hasn't done a zoom these days, right? right. So, Having a virtual consult at least gets you in front of a dermatologist. One of the challenges here in the United States, unfortunately, is there's only about a quarter of the number of dermatologists than something compared to like cardiologists in the United States. There's 40,000 cardiologists. There's only about 10,000 dermatologists. So that makes it that makes it tough. And like Lainey said, there's many metropolitan areas that have them. But in some of these rural areas, they don't have a dermatologist within a 300 mile radius. So, you know, we have to come up with new ways and methodologies of getting people, you know, in, in, in tune with their own skin and getting that skin checked. So by having dermatologists and there's new there's new technologies that are coming up, you know, that we'll be working with and promoting, you know, it's, it's not just about, you know, you got to use the skin view tracker app, you know, use something, do something about your skin. That's the most important message. I can Beautiful. Say. Beautiful. And you know what? Um, calling all dermatologists, calling all skincare professionals, skin view is here. And this is an opportunity to partner, right? I mean, it's kind Absolutely. of a no brainer. I mean, yeah. they're going to get more business from this. Um, so good for you guys, and, and we're going to get healthier. So thank you for being here, and, um, and please excuse my airport. Shout out to Sam. He's managing my mute, my mute button pretty good <laughs> here at the airport. Um, thank you guys for being here. Yes, and if you want to donate, if you want to get involved, look up Skin View, spelled S-K-N-V-U-E. And I hope to see you guys next month at maybe a special event. We'll talk about that later. Um, thank, thanks, Lainey. What else do you have on your on your plate these days, Lainey? What, you, what else you got cooking? Oh, tons of stuff. We'll uh, we'll we'll send it over to you, <laughs> okay. and you can you can report. But uh, you know, Sydney okay. Berg is is the place to go. And uh, like Randy said, we hope to be able to give it free to everyone. So that's the goal. Great. And next time, yeah, I, I think it's the end. Of yeah. uh -huh. no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say. say next... <laughs> <laughs> no, you. No, you. Okay, Randy first, then you, Monique. <laughs> I was just going to say, Monique, next time I come to your neck of, neck of the woods, it won't be early in the morning and we'll, um, we'll go get some lunch or something. That would be great. I know. I was like boarding a plane, story of my life these days. Yeah. <laughs> but you were, you got there really quick. So thank you for making that happen. And um, yeah. yes, guys, if you. Yeah, it's the, it's the end of the year. It's the last quarter. If you got a little bit of tax money that you need to spend, this is a really great place to park it uh, and give back to your fellow man and woman out there in our skin, right? So there you go. I love make, it. Make a difference. You can make a difference in somebody's life. You, you might even be able to involve, be involved in saving a life. How often do we get a chance to do that? Well, we sure destroy a lot of things, huh? So this yeah, would be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. All right, you guys. I'm sending you lots of love and thank you for doing this. And um, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, I'm headed home. All right. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks, guys. Love thank you. Thank you. You're welcome, Randy. Thank you, Lainey. All right, you guys. So that's so awesome. I wanted to start that off. And yes, it's a great gift to give for the holidays. Um, give ourselves some skincare. Um, our, you know, love your neighbor, help someone out, and um, educate yourself. Um, so I have a special gift for you guys for Christmas. Um, again, in case you're wondering where I'm at, I'm at the airport in Thailand, um, finishing up country number 15 um, that we embarked um, about a year and a half ago, a little bit more than that. And now um, we're headed home. You know, we did the American version, 20 cities, and we're finishing up the international version. We might have two more places to go next year, but a lot of things are locked down, and this was really hard to get here, but I'm glad I did. Beautiful people. Shout out to everybody here in Thailand, um, in Singapore, and in Japan. Uh, thank you so much for your hospitality. Shout out to Delta and Singapore Air. And um, is my, Sam, do you think our Christmas gift is in the waiting room? I sure hope so. All right, you guys, we have a, a, a special Christmas gift for you, and I figured we'd end, you know, one of our shows around the holidays with a special guest. Um, and if you've watched my show before, you know who he is, Saman Kazani. Um, he is a psychotherapist in Los Angeles, and he is amazing. So I figured with everything going on in the world and our lives have been so disrupted by all of this, um, it'd be good to have a little calm and a little insight. And before uh, we get him here, I want to make sure that you guys see um, all of my all of what we've been doing. So check it out on YouTube. Four words: the pandemic project documentary, and uh, that's the American version. I'll be putting out um, the full film very soon. We're doing a private screening. If you want to join us on December 27th in Laguna Beach at La Casa del Camino, uh, go to um, you can go get on Eventbrite, grab a ticket, and a portion of those uh, ticket sales will go to someone that was affected. Uh, by the coronavirus, so probably a first responder or a survivor. So um, I think Saman's coming on, but let's see if he's here. Maybe he's waiting in the wings. Um, you guys also, if you're not following me, please have a look at my Instagram and take a look. At the startup with Monique Loray, L-O-R-E, at Monique Loray Stinson, S-T-I-N-S-O-N, uh, at Capricorius Media, and, um, you know, we've got some great things coming up. We, if you have a brand, uh, I know it's a little lo noisy, you guys, bear with me. If you have a brand, a startup brand, and you're looking to get that in front of influencers, we have the Grammys Week Celebrity Gifting Suite coming up January 28th in Hollywood. So if you want to, you know, you've got hair products, candles, skincare. We just talked about skincare, um, skin prevention. Uh, if you have a T-shirt company, a hat company, we are looking for those things. So if you'd like to place those in the swag bags, um, give us a shout. You can DM me at Monique Loray Stinson at Cap Aquarius Media or at the Startup with Monique Loray, or you can email me at capaquariusmedia at gmail dot com. Um, guys, what what have you what do you want for Christmas? What is your wish? What do you, what have you been doing? Um, hopefully, you're selling a lot of, of products. Hopefully, your brands are going great, um, and you're getting ready to start the new year right. Um, all right, I'm hoping that our guy will come on. Um, if not, we're going to have to wrap. Sam, are you thinking maybe he's he's in the wings soon? Shout out to Sam again. You're awesome. Thanks for, for putting up with my connection <laughs> every week. Um, what else do I want to talk to you guys about? You know, um, as we wrap this project, I've got some other amazing things going. You know, back in the day, I was working on Justice for Jackie. And we're going to pick that back up next year. Um, you can check that sizzle reel on my YouTube channel, Justice, the number four Jackie. We also have some cool things coming up with the Tattooed Realtor. His sizzle reel will be released soon. Um, we have something called Invisible Illnesses with um, with our with our girl Kiva Napper, Napper. So that's going to be released soon. And we've got some other good things cooking. So um, Justice for Andre and Bryson as well and more promotional videos for startups and things. So um, we're getting back on track with all of that and hopefully putting this uh, this coronavirus thing behind us, right? So um, it won't just be travel and, and pandemic talk next year. We're, we're shaking things up with some other cool things. Um, all right, you guys, without further ado, I brought you your Christmas gift, your Hanukkah gift, your Kwanzaa gift, your whatever the heck you celebrate gift. Uh, Saman, thank you for making time. Welcome to the show. Well, 
You're the Christmas gift. Yes, you're the holiday gift. <laughs> so I'm, put, I'm putting my headphones in here because I don't want you to get in. Okay. Okay, well, while Saman's doing that, you guys, um, he is the founder and owner of 2B Human Psychotherapy out of Los Angeles, California. And he is um, an amazing, uh, he's an amazing human. I mean, he just released, he just dropped this amazing trailer, um, this corporate sizzle reel, if you will, to his, well, I'm going to call it a branding video. That's actually the right term. Mm. It's a corporate branding video for his brand, 2B Human Psych Psychotherapy. And it's so touching. Saman, I almost... You know, I had my lashes on. I almost cried my lashes off. Oh. I mean, it was so beautiful. You and know, apparently what? you're a talented editor, too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's interesting about that? I mean, that's probably what I talk to a lot of even my own clients about, which is, you know, finding a way to create something. And mm -hmm. uh, the beginning of that video wasn't even for the website. It was initially something in oh. which I said, you know, I want to create something that invokes a specific kind of feeling. And as I went with it, I realized it represented all the things I kind of want to demonstrate. And I'm not, I'm not big on marketing, but I finally found something that um, I didn't feel like I was doing marketing. I just felt like I was doing something creative that excited me. And I said, oh, awesome. I could use this for my website. <laughs> and it, it kind of, oh. it, it, it blended and ended up working that way. And it was, it was really cool. So I'm glad, uh, clearly when people oh. have the reaction you talk about, you know, a lot of people had that reaction. It, it, it's obvious it, it worked or it came from a real place. Well, you know? well, you know, and we talk a lot about intentions, you know, and you and I online and offline, we speak about that. And yeah. you're like, listen, Monique, I've been involved as long as it's, it's, it's about how I can add value, how I can help and how I can feel inspired and not just it be about doing an action or paying a fee or, you know, we, we're very, you and I are very candid about uh, how yeah. we like to transition and move with our, with ourselves and our brands. Right. So I really yeah. appreciate that about our, our relationship, our friendship, because um, you, it seems like you just applied that and you just, explain that about this this corporate video that you did that wound up happening you weren't necessarily setting out to do one it just happened because you had the intention of expressing what you wanted to practice and it came out so relatable so tangible yeah i had you know i had a, i remember a marketing professor i had in my sophomore freshman or sophomore year of uh, undergrad this is 15 mm -hmm. years ago or whatever it was his name was vernon Staubel. the most the nicest funniest guy um and he always had these little tidbits of wisdom and i remember visiting him after like a decade and he said how's it going and i said it's good the you know the the practice is good i enjoy it uh the business of it is okay i just can't bring myself to post these 12 steps on how to heal, heal yourself and these kind <laughs> of like, you know and listen if it works for you it works but from some place inside of me i couldn't bring myself to do it and he said to me he's like listen if if you don't if it's not you, it's not even gonna get you clients. He said it's not gonna work. He said it has to come. Oh, I'm not sure if you froze there, Monique. You're listening to The Startup with Monique LeRae, only on L.A. Talk Radio.